Okay, hi! <laughs> Today, I'm gonna attempt to crochet. I found a tutorial by Anna Green. Anna Green? Well, she made a tutorial on how to make a crochet mesh top and it looks so cute. And then I watched the full tutorial and it looks really easy for me to make. So, I'm gonna make it. I'm using some brown yarn I have from my stash. This is from my Harry Styles cardigan and I have quite a bit of it which I think will be enough for this. So I'm just going to use that and I'm using a 6mm crochet hook. In the pattern, she used a 6.5mm crochet hook but I think 6 is fine. All my crochet hooks are in whole numbers. I've already watched her tutorial once so I kind of have an idea on how it goes. I am just crocheting a single chain. She did 61 stitches. I don't know how many stitches I should do. And then after that, we're gonna work it up to do the front panel and then work on the back panel and then we'll do the sleeves later on. Anyway, maybe I should give you a bit of background on me and crochet. So as some of you may know, I started my knitting journey by on my fiber arts journey in general by knitting the hairstyles cardigan. At the time I actually saw a lot of people crochet the cardigan instead of knit and I was contemplating between knitting it and crocheting it. A lot of people said crochet was easier to learn but then when the official pattern by JW Anderson came out it was a knitting pattern so I thought I should learn how to knit instead of crochet since that was the original pattern that was published by the maker of the cardigan. So that's how I got into knitting but imagine how things would turn out if I actually crocheted the cardigan instead Instead of knitted it. I think you crochet a lot in knitting though compared to knitting in crochet. Let's say you drop a stitch and then you pick it up that's sort of like crochet as well. So I think you tend to pick up crochet while you're knitting. Anyway, I have crocheted before. I tried getting into crochet by learning how to knit. Knit. I tried learning how to crochet a granny square but my tension can never turn out right. So my granny square always end up looking like a jumbled circle or something like that instead of a square but because this is just single crochet and double crochet in a straight line i think this will be a lot easier for me to learn and do so far it's looking pretty good i think my tension is kind of okay i honestly don't know how it's supposed to look like i feel like it doesn't really look like hers honestly i find it a bit difficult to get the tension right because I have to pull on this while also pulling on this bottom part to get the hook in because my stitches always end up being either too tight or too loose. Anyway, this is my chain. I'm gonna measure it out with a measuring tape. She did hers to be 17 inches and I think I'm just gonna copy her. Oop, a bit more. Okay. I did a few more chains, let's measure this now. Ooh, okay. It's about 19 inches. I think that's fine. And then she said to crochet 9 extra chains. And 9. And then we'll just do a double crochet in the 9th stitch. Okay, we have 1. So now we'll chain three. One, two, three. And we'll go into the fourth stitch. Uh, one, two, three, four. Counting stitches with crochet is a bit difficult, not gonna lie. I think it's this one. If it's not that one, then my holes will just be a bit bigger. One, two, three. Wow. Wait, actually, I'm so much better than this than I thought I was. Wait, this actually looks so good. Oh my goodness, I'm almost reaching the end. I'm done! That is so cool! Okay, so I had to consult the video again and at the end you chain 6 turn your work and then we'll do double crochets inside the hole now so I chain 6 so I'm just gonna double crochet in here and then after that we'll chain 3 Why does it look like this? I'm gonna redo this. It looks a bit funny. Okay. 
Okay, babe, we were from here. Chain six. Six. And then turn. And then double crochet into the first one. Ah, oh, okay. There, that looks a bit right. We'll do the same thing for the second one. Two, three. Oh, I think because I didn't put it properly, so it looked like I did not do it when I did, in fact, do it. Are you watching Team Page 2? I don't know. I want to. I don't want to. Ugh. I just want to If you win, what are we watching? If I win, I'm watching Team Page 2. I'm watching Team Page 2. Ugh. Oh. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Hey, you're late! Okay, okay, okay. Scissors, paper, stone. Let's do three. One. Scissors, paper, stone. Two. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. Scissors, paper, stone. <laughs> No. Yes, so one more exactly. Guys, we're not watching Team Beach 2 3. We watched Team Beach 1 yesterday. Why are we not finishing the series? It makes no sense. Is this because I just realized. Exactly, then after that tomorrow we can watch the whole of Camp Freaking Rock. Fine, we'll watch Team Beach 2. Yay! I also finished my second row of mesh stitches. So I'm gonna go do the rest off camera because it seems like everything is going well. And I'll update you when I'm done with each row. I'm done with the third row. This is actually working out a lot quicker than I expected. I worked about eight rows last night and then I worked a bit more in the morning. And then I worked on it a bit more in the day. So now I'm like on the back panel already. I've already done the hole for the neck. I made it a bit longer than what was in the pattern. I think she said um, 10 rows, but I did 15 rows. When I block it and pull it down, then it won't be so cropped, you know? Because I don't want it to be like above here, it'll be a bit weird length. So yeah, I've already worked up to the back panel. I'm not down the back panel, I have about 8 more rows to go. As I was walking through this, I realized that I did too many holes at the bottom. So in total, there are 16 holes from the left to the right. But at some point, it became 18 holes. Like you see, this part is coming out a bit. Somehow, I double crochet into the same hole so that I created an extra two holes. So then for a while, I was crocheting 18 holes. But I fixed it by just uh, skipping one hole. So then I did 17 holes and then the next round, then I did back to 16 holes. I don't know whether I want to add the sleeves or not. I quite like it. Now, I was thinking of adding like a tie-up detail at the side so I won't sew the sides together and I think that might be fun. But yeah, that's the progress on this. Honestly, it's been walking up so fast and it's been really easy for me to crochet actually. Maybe granny squares just weren't my calling. Maybe after this, I'll feel more confident to work on granny squares again and maybe I can finally get the hang of that. But in the meantime, I really like working on this. I think it's so fun. I've kind of gotten over that mental gymnastics. Like when I first started, I had to be like, okay, yarn over and then look at the hole and then next one, put my hook inside the hole. Oops. And then yarn over again and then double crochet. Oh, that's going in once and then going in twice. And then I have to chain three, so then I'll be like one, two, three. You know, like it takes a while. I mean, obviously, I'm not the fastest crocheter, but it's definitely a lot faster to when I first started. Like, I can literally talk to you while doing this. I would have never have been able to do this in the beginning. I would have never been able to do this yesterday. One thing I like about this is that I find that it's a lot easier to untangle yarn compared to knitting because this thing can be like scrunched up and put in and then I can just take out the hook. But I don't like that you cannot frog your work. When I realized that I made a mistake and did 18 holes instead of 16, I was really quite far up. Like let's say I made a mistake in this row. From this part, I can just frog down all the way. But for crochet, you can't do that. You have to take out the hook row. That's a downside to working with this because once you mess up, you have to redo everything all over again. So that kind of sucked but I don't think the mistake that I made was very obvious. So that's why I decided to just keep on going. I think when I block it, I'm gonna stretch it out a bit so the holes will be a bit more prominent. It's a bit bunched up here. I also think I miscounted the stitches for the neckline. 
because it looks a bit wonky. At first, I did um, five holes, but then I realized when I did five holes, so that means five holes for my right shoulder and five holes for my left shoulder and then six holes for my neck, it was a bit too small and my head couldn't go through. So then I did three holes, three holes and ten holes for my neck. I also quite like working with this crochet hook. I've heard uh, a lot of people say that metal crochet hooks are better than plastic ones but these are the ones that I have and it works fine. The only thing I don't really like is that it makes this squeaky sound which is kind of annoying. So yeah, that's my only issue but I don't know whether that's like the crochet hook thing or what but yeah that's it i think i'll be able to finish the body today and then after that i can decide whether i want to crochet up the sleeves or leave it as a tank top okay oops i'm gonna continue working on this and i think i'll update you when i reach the same length as the front I'm done with the back and front panel. It's so cute. So I have the tutorial pulled up here. And now we're gonna connect the body parts together first. As you can see, I've just finished my back panel. So I have eight rows in the back, eight rows in the front. And now I'm going to chain up one at the very end. And then I'm gonna fold my back panel to my front panel. I'm gonna find the very first stitch, which is this one, this corner stitch with the tail, and then hold them together like this. And now we're gonna create the armhole. To do this, we're gonna slip stitch the front and the back panel together until we have an opening here that fits around our arm, like at the armpit area. Stick it through one of these front loops somewhere on that panel and then Find something similar on the back panel. Stick it through. Huh? Your yarn. Wait a minute. Look, front loops somewhere on that panel, and then oh, find something okay, similar wait, on the back. something on the front. Can I just go in the same hole? Okay. And one in this hole. Okay. Back panel. Stick it through, grab your yarn, and then pull it through all of the loops on the hook. Okay. Then just find another stitch and do the same thing. How do you even tell what it looks like? I'm just going to assume it's this. Wait, so I have two stitches on my needle, or what? Why does she have three though? Oh wait, yeah, I have three also. I feel like I'm not progressing. Okay, wait, give me a minute, you're going too fast. How does anyone see anything in this? Okay, I think I'm going somewhere. I did about like halfway through. I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven holes. So now we're gonna start working on the sleeve. Okay, so it seems like the sleeve is work the same way as the body, except instead of having to turn your work at the end, it's done in the round. And so now I'm doing my first row. I'm just gonna ignore that for now. 
I spent so much time untangling it last night only for it to end up tangled again today so okay we're at the end do I have to go into another one? no okay wait let me check on the video again like so then chain three and now we are just going to be working in a spiral so there's not going to be any stop and end points you're not meeting back up at the beginning you're just going to continue to work down the sleeve in a spiral so i guess now i'm just gonna go work on my sleeve and update you when it's about the halfway point i guess by the way just if you are interested in the number of holes in my sleeve it's 20 holes so my body was 16 and then the sleeve is 20. Here, yeah, I finished my first ball of yarn on the first leaf and I had 5 balls of yarn left, so I separated them out into 3 and 2 for each sleeve. I wasn't sure if I'd have enough, so I worked on the other sleeve first. Here is how my sleeve is turning out. I'm halfway through doing the decreases. I crocheted 10 rows before I started on the decreases. It's not very obvious yet, but there's a slight decrease happening which I'm very happy about. I'm kind of losing on yarn chicken here, so I'm putting this leaf to rest and I'm back to working on the first leaf. I have the two balls I set aside in the beginning for the first leaf, so I'm good to go. I'm finished with my first leaf. You know how I said I was losing at yarn chicken? Well, I managed to find some yarn at my other house, so it worked nicely. Next, I'm going to work on the second sleeve. The sleeve decreases look a bit wonky, but I'm hoping that when I block it, it will stretch out and fall nicely. I also found this book light which I thought would be so fun to use for knitting or crocheting. I just put it in my hoodie and it worked alright, but it's a pretty old light, so it wasn't working very well. I think it's a good concept though, but maybe just not very well executed. I was working on the second sleeve before I very briefly lost yarn chicken. I went to search the trenches of my room for any possibility of more yarn but to no avail. So what I did was weave in my loose ends, cut them as long as I possibly could and use those loose ends to crochet with. Not gonna lie, I still did not have enough yarn and I was so close to finishing the sleeve. I only had about 3 more holes I think to crochet before I ran out of yarn. So I just ended the round a bit early. It's not very obvious, so I think it's okay. Next, I'm blocking the shrug to fix anything that needed fixing, which in my case, needed a lot of fixing. Recently, I've been adding more soap to my washers and I love how soft it makes my works. I had a little trouble getting the sleeves to be the same length. For some reason, one sleeve was a lot shorter than the other one, even though I've already counted the holes and found that they're the same number on both sides. Not sure where I went wrong with this one. Here is how my crochet mesh rug turned out after blocking. And here are some of my thoughts on crochet, this mesh garment, and how my experience was like. So initially, I went to this project really excited to try something new. But my hand started to hurt nearing the end of the project, specifically my pinky and my ring finger. So I think it's because of the way that I hold my yarn when I'm crocheting. And I also could crochet for hours, so that might be a reason why my hand started to cramp up in the end. But compared to knitting, I don't really face this problem when I knit for hours. So it was just a problem that I had to face this problem when I was crocheting. Also, one of my sleeves turned out a little crooked. I'm not sure if you can tell. But you know how I did decreases for the sleeves? So that they taper down to the wrist so that it's not so big. I'm not sure but the slope for one of my sleeves turned out a lot steeper than the other sleeve. Even though I did the same decreases for both. And they both have the same number of holes. Even after blocking, I find that the difference is still really obvious. One sleeve is also much shorter than the other because I ran out of yarn and I had to cut one row off the left sleeve but it's very obvious even though it's just one row apart. To be honest, I think I'm gonna frog this. I'm not very happy with how unsymmetrical the sleeves turned out and it also really bothers me that one of the sleeves is so short. I already have uneven shoulders, I can't have uneven sleeves as well, especially when they're not in my favour. So, I think I might remake this mesh top but maybe in a knit version instead of crochet since that's where my forte is. Plus, my fingers won't hurt as bad when I knit.
instead of when I crochet. But I find that the mesh looks so pretty in crochet compared to knitting. I don't think I've ever seen a knitted mesh pattern that looks as good as a crochet mesh pattern. I think this experience of me trying to learn how to crochet again looks a lot better than my previous experiences of trying to crochet. In the past, I used granny squares to learn. And then back then, when I learned how to crochet, I learned just for the sake of it and I didn't really have a motivation to work towards. But now that I have an end product in mind and something that I want to create, it's more motivating for me to continue and improve my skills. If you compare crochet and knitting, I find that crochet is a lot easier to learn compared to knit. But if you never crocheted before, I highly recommend starting with simple patterns like this one, which only has single and double crochet instead of granny squares, which I find is a bit more complicated. I know there are a lot of people who learn crochet through granny squares, and good for you if you're able to make that work out for you, but I just couldn't get the hang of it, even after multiple attempts. And there's less space for you to go wrong with it. Except maybe crocheting in the same pole multiple times and creating extra mesh holes. While I do think this was a fun experience, knitting will always be my first love and what I always go back to. That being said, if you are a knitter, I think it's worthwhile the effort to learn how to crochet and vice versa if you're a crocheter, I think it's worthwhile the effort to learn how to knit. At the moment, I don't see myself reaching out for crochet very often just because of how much pain I experienced while I was crocheting. Maybe if there's another crochet project on my mind, then I'd be more open to trying it again. If you're someone who crochets and knits, I'd love to know which one you learned first and which one you prefer to do now. Thank you to Anna for her wonderful tutorial. Her video was so helpful and really easy to understand. I'll link it down in the description box if you are interested in making one yourself. That's all for me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.